Hey, what's up everybody? I'm out walking the creek a little bit and uh, walked up on this uh, coral reef. Check this guy out. Oops, butterfingers. Uh, that's really well fossilized. That's a nice one. Let's wash it off. I came out here today. Um, we've had some rain. It's actually just stopped raining. And I like coming out here, getting the rain jacket out. The, all the rocks are wet. It's just a little bit easier to, to see certain things when it's wet already. It's a good piece really neat let's keep going and see what else we come up with I'm uh, I don't know I probably won't be out here much today but thought I'd show y'all this piece it's pretty good all right see ya. hey guys it's starting to rain but I didn't want to show y'all this piece it's a pretty big piece of uh, fossilized Agatized brachiopods. Wow, look at that. Let's see. I'm gonna pick it up. Man, this piece is nice. Oh, sit it down here. That one will be fun to carry back. <laughs> This one's gonna, it's gonna be pretty cool. There's a lot of quartz. Probably gonna be a lot of agate in this. It's hard to get a good, seems like I've got a lot of glare. I'm trying to get that out. Pretty cool. It's a big piece. All right, guys. I thought I had to show that one. It's huge. One of the bigger ones I found that was that nice. All right. Let's keep going. See you guys. Hey, y'all might want to look at this rock. This one's got me stumped. I don't think I've ever ran across one like this. It is just absolutely full of spots of agate, quartz. Looks like a little bit of calcite. Look at this. I've, I've not ran a one, ran across one like this. I'm not even sure. It almost looks like I don't know. It almost looks like limestone, but then it, no, then again it doesn't. I guess that is a chart. It just has a color of a limestone, but it it that's pretty wild. It's got me stumped. I know one thing, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. Look at that. I can't wait to get this one back home and get a better look at it. This thing is wild looking. Look at that, look at that agate. There's a lot of neat banding. Oh, yeah, I see some. Yeah, I don't know why. I guess I thought it was limestone there for a second with pockets of agate in it or something, but... I think that's a... It's a type of chert. This is pretty neat. First one I've ever come across like this, so... I'll be, uh... 
checking it out a little further when I get home. That's pretty cool. Got this spot here. All right, guys. Well, it's been a good one so far. This particular stretch of the creek is, I, a lot of times we'll come here for material. There is a, quite a few artifacts, mostly tools and flakes and things. I usually don't find many good points, but man, it usually comes through on the way of uh, just interesting material to throw in the tumble, tumbler and um, coral and things like that. All right, guys, this one has got me a little stumped, but very interesting. I'll tell you what, it's beautiful. Cool. See you guys. What's going on, guys? I got a few things I ran up on. Like two or three things. Um, it's starting to rain, so I'm going to try to be quick. It's been a pretty good day out here. Really neat stuff. Look at the size of this coral. Wow, this one is pretty wall. That one is wild. That's cool. <laughs> it's looks like it's fossilized. This looks like a quartz. All right, let's keep going. I left a couple things down here uh here is some more agatized uh brocky pods looks like it's going to be a really nice piece look at this agate right here guys that's going to be cool just beautiful finding some really good material oh there's some pockets some agates um all right so as I was walking back to my backpack, just I kept running up on stuff, so I marked it with this piece of bone. Check out this piece of coral. Oh, what a beautiful piece. Oh, wow. Look at this piece, guys. Man, what a what a day. I just I was just walking back to my backpack and I kept running up on things. And uh, so I'll just come back and video them all at one time because uh, it's trying to rain on us. Man, look at the detail. This one's a nice piece. Beautiful. Very good. Man, that's cool. All right. Starting to rain. I don't know how much longer I'll be out here, but it's been an awesome day for material. Uh, a lot of neat fossils, neat things to tumble. All right, guys. See ya. It's been a pretty good day. I think I'm gonna head on back to the house. I've got uh, almost more rocks than I can carry. Uh, backpack, there's a bag over there filled up and I still got two more piles to, to grab on my way back. So uh, that, uh, <laughs> that's gonna do me. All right, until next time, we'll see you guys, Tennessee Rocks. All right, we made it back to the house. I just got the table out and thought I would uh, put some of the finds on the, the table. We would kind of check them out. Um, I always bring home way too many rocks. 
when it's raining and I'm out there looking. Everything just looks so translucent and so shiny and sometimes you end up bringing more home than you would otherwise, but we did find some pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's see. The uh, agatized brachiopods, brachiopods, and I think I think this is going to be some really good stuff. There is, I see quite a bit of agate. Yeah, this is a pretty good find, and it's huge too. So it's a lot of material that we can tumble and uh, check all this stuff out under the microscope. It's really really cool all right so that piece this piece I went ahead and brought home it's more of the same um, it's not as bright but I believe it could have some potential we could tumble and there might be some agate in that one um, I brought a few pieces of banded chert because a lot of times I'm needing fill rock for the tumbler and if I'm going to throw some rocks in the tumbler I hate just throwing any kind of rocks in there just for his, for fill rock um, it's so much nicer to pick up this banded chert and use it in the tumbler at least in the you know in the end you get you know a really cool rock and uh, so it's it's good to cut up and use for just a uh, nice uh, bill rock for the tumbler. That's got some pretty cool bands. It's neat stuff. Um, obviously geodes. <clears throat> I didn't really find I was looking for geodes that I thought had, I call it druzy, and you cut up, cut them open and it's usually an agate. Um, you'll see the bands uh, on the inside. Uh, but I, I don't believe I found any. I mean, sometimes you'll cut them open and they'll surprise you, but I believe everything we got here is either filled with calcite or quartz crystals. Um, let's see. Over here, we've got some really cool coral. A lot of times I go out and I don't find this stuff. Um, today I found, I thought it was two really nice pieces. A lot of detail in this one. Yeah, it's, it's pretty dirty. I haven't cleaned it up. Just got home, run a little bit behind as usual this is a really interesting piece of coral really interesting it's a different species this looks like a like a honeycomb doesn't it Leave a comment below if you know uh, anything related to this piece. Interesting, isn't it? Now this rock, I think what this is, which I'm pretty excited about it. Um, At first, when I picked it up, I thought it was limestone, but it's a chert. Um, it's just a real dark chert, almost. Um, and, and what this is, I mean, it's got agate. You can see some agate in there. Um, it looks like that it is chert with bryozone, fossilized bryozone but the, the brow zone has been replaced with agate and quartz. Super awesome piece. I've, I've never found one like this. 
Look at that beautiful uh, Druzy agate. Yeah, this is a uh, good gracious. Yeah, it's a neat rock. Yeah, man, I've yet to experiment with uh, tumbling such a big rock, but this one would be on the list. To, I'd have to commit probably four or five months just this one rock, but man, it's worth it. I believe it'd be worth it. All right, guys. Might be getting long-winded. I apologize if I am. Just wanted to show y'all some of the stuff we found today. Uh, I didn't get to video all of it um, because it was raining on and off, but that was one of the reasons I, I went was it just seems like you can see so much more detail in the rocks when, the, uh, when everything's wet. It's really nice. If you haven't done that before and you, you're searching gravel bars, get out there while it's raining, and uh, I believe you'll like it. All right, see you guys.